Hi everybody! I finally got the grill! Yes! I have the new Ninja Foodi XL grill. We're going to do an unboxing and then we're going to cook a steak. What could be better? So we're just going to do the unboxing because I haven't opened it. Well, I opened the top, but yeah. It says it can cook six steaks at the same time. This is going to be exciting. Let's see, accessories that we can get. XL roasting rack and the XL combo crisper basket. Hmm, that sounds pretty cool. Let's open this guy up. This is our probably handy dandy quick start guide cookbook. And do not put it on an oven. Yeah, the quick start. You got your manual and a cookbook. That's new. Oh, that's new too. Hmm. All right, let's get to the good part here. Okay, this is the brush. This is the grill brush cleaner. Let's see. Oh, here's the grill. Here's the grill itself. And I didn't bring my old one with me. As you can see, I'm not in my kitchen. The other one's home. Yeah, look at that. It's a good size. It depends on your size steaks. I know you can, you can probably fit a bunch of fillets on here, but it depends on your size steaks on how many steaks you can actually get on here. But so far, so good. Let me put this off to the side. Because I have to go ahead and wash everything. I can't. All right. Let's put this over here for a second. Ugh. We will take one last look at the box. Let's see. Looking for a recipe inspiration. Go to Ninja Kitchen. It's got a bunch of the usual recipes. Probably the Nashville chicken, salmon. That, that corn is the best. You know what I haven't done on film is kebabs. I really need to do a kebab. This is virtually smoke free, which yeah, they do smoke. I'm just reading the box real quick. I'm just doing this with you guys. And it comes with a dual sensor. I'm looking forward to trying out that thermometer to see how it works. Check the bottom. It is, let's see, here we go. 120 volts. It's uh, 1,760 watts. So that has quite the draw. Let me put the box over here. It's like Christmas, everybody. Oh yeah, oh this, wow. Holy mackerel. This, wow. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So it's got similar vents. Got a vent here, vent here. That's the grease strip tray right there. But we're just doing a test. I'll do a complete review once I have it for like a week. <gasps> Beautiful, oh, tape. We're gonna open it up. <gasps> Nice. Let's get rid of these boxes. There's the air crisp basket. Look at that. Nice. Throw that. Get rid of that. This is the pan. This is the bottom pan right there. Oh, I don't think it's as deep. And you know something? I just want to let you guys know up front. I haven't watched one Ninja Foodie XL Grill video. So this is all new to me. And I'm assuming this fits in like that. Nope, wrong way. Divot right there. Divot. Then here's the grill. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and wash everything, and then we're going to cook that steak. So we're just going to jump right in. This is just going to be an unboxing and demo. I'm just going to grab the quick start guide. I'll do a complete review once I have it for like a week. I like to use it for like a week just to get the feel for it. And we're gonna jump to the quick start guide. It's gonna show us how to place the thermometer, which I probably should show you guys where that is. Let's go. Here it is right here. It's pretty cool, cause it, it just wraps around. Look at that. I really like this and it's a nice storage unit. It's supposed to have that dual, dual sensor where it senses the temp here and there, which is fantastic. Let me put this back in here. Oh, look at that. That's got to be magnetic. It's magnetic. I really need a kitchen island. It's awkward working in this space. All right. This is where the roasting pan goes right here. I'm going to go ahead, put the grill grate in. It's still a little wet because I just washed it. I dried it as best I could. I am just going to go ahead and lower the lid. We're going to do grill. I'm going to do max because this is a very thin steak. I am going to do press preset, beef. We're gonna do three, medium rare. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start. All right, so it's preheating right now. I think it's much louder than the traditional grill. It seems louder for some reason. All I'm gonna do to my steak is just salt and pepper it. You guys can season it as steak any way that you want it. I'm just doing what I like. Now we're gonna place that thermometer. Now I did see the pictures on how to do this, so we're gonna to try to do this correctly. So we're gonna take that thermometer and we're gonna pick this steak up. Whoops. I'm gonna put it in right there. Hopefully it stays right in the center. Flatten that out just a bit. Hmm. There we go. Steak is ready, we're just waiting for it to preheat finally telling me to add food. I'm gonna go ahead and raise the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and place that steak. Oh yeah, wipe my hands off a bit. I said make sure that is not touching the edge, the rubber. Go ahead and go ahead and close it. And it's starting to cooking time. It's pretty neat because it's showing the current, that's the current temp and target temp is 112. I'm gonna let you know that two minutes and like 25 seconds has gone by and it's already up to 81 degrees. It just rang me and it's telling me to flip the steak. Open it up. Ooh, looking good. Oh yeah, look at that. This is nice looking. Go ahead and lower the lid. Wow. As soon as I flipped over the steak, it said get food. So it took about four minutes and like 30 seconds for that steak to cook. Holy mackerel. I'm gonna leave the thermometer in it. And right now it's telling resting. It's gonna let me know how long it has to rest for. This is, it's pretty cool. I let this steak rest for six minutes. So let's go over and take a look. This steak looks perfect. Look at that. All right, time for that taste test. This steak is cooked perfectly for me. And yes, I cooked it on max because I wanted a little bit more brownage on the steak. Uh, yeah, you can probably use high, but I chose max. Worked perfectly. Thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned. This is just an unboxing and a demo. I'll do a full review probably like in a week, week or two. So thanks everybody for watching. Take care. Stay tuned for more.